Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new demo. Today we have, first up, the brand new Ebonhawk Defender chest. Let's have a look at what we have from this chest. Oops. So our guaranteed items are End of Dragon's material bags, so we're going to get lots of materials today. Uh, we have, what do we have? We have the Eternal Forge skins in the Uncommon set. Of course, the Scrivener's Knowledge Shoulder is still there, but now we have the Ebonhawk crossbow rifle, so hopefully we'll be able to have a look at that. And we do have a new black line set, which we'll take a look at at the end. We have our Bright Inquisitor Staff skins in rare, with the Glyph of Watch Knight and the Glyph of Virtue. Interesting. Uh, and then the Omnum Berry, the Elder Wood, the Iron Ore, and Advanced Leather Packs there in the rares. So, of course, we have 25 keys as per usual, and we might uh, have a chance at a Golden Key if we get enough statuettes and we don't get the new unique item. Otherwise, we'll try and grab it at the next chest, whenever that is. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we get. First up, two End of Dragon material bags. Nice. We got some Bloodstone dies and more materials. I think that's going to be the main thing we get this time around, is just materials. There we go. Where is the grab bag going? Oh, down here. Of course, I... There we go. There we go. We've seven so far with five keys. Revive orb there. Always handy, especially when we have a new uh, chapter to run through. Guaranteed armor unlock there. Not too bad. We got 15 transmutation charges so far as well. Up to our 10th uh, material bag and a commemorative coin to celebrate that. Here is another bloodstone die kit. We got the jade die kit. Ooh, I don't think I have many of the jade colors. That should be nice. Another commemorative coin to commemorate another end of dragons material bag. Up to 14. Hopefully we can maybe get to 30. That would be interesting. Out of the 25. I doubt it, though. We're not getting a lot of doubles. It was just that first one, I think. Actually, no. I've had it twice so far. There's another revive orb. We got a new die set, the Winter Chimes and the Awaken there. Uh, another commemorative coin. Not looking good for the old crossbow skin. There's a guaranteed wardrobe on the lock. We got a vintage black lion weapon box. Quite a nice one. We got that last time as well. So don't look like we have enough statuettes to grab ourselves a golden key as well. We have four more keys to go. There is another double material bag, so we're definitely going to get, I think, 27, I think, is bare minimum now. Oh, 28, I think. No, 29. And there is a weapon unlock. Not bad. Another jade die kit. We have a ticket scrap and our final key. We did not get the crossbow. Do you get another ticket scrap? And we did get 29 End of Dragon material bags, just shy of that 30. Damn. That is a shame. Hopefully we'll be able to get the new Ebonhawk crossbow rifle skin next time. Not that I use rifle a lot. Here's what it looks like. It does look pretty cool. I would love to see it in action to see if it shoots bullets or arrows. It'd be cool if they change it to be only arrows. Uh, I don't think they would, though. Looks very nice there. Okay, let's move on to our loot. Here we go. So we'll start off with the transmutation charges. We got 20 of those all together. Next we'll do our die kits. So here are the dies we got. We got deep teal. It goes for 23 copper. We got daffodil. 18 to 25 copper. We got green shade. 12 to 25 copper. An error has occurred though. There we go. Up to the masterworks, we got mulberry dice, which is 66 copper to a silver. Bad. We got gunmetal. Around 1 to 190. We got evergreen. Around a silver, 29. Not bad, not bad. We got Pewter, which is up to 396. That's not too bad at all. Orange die. Uh, back down to Silver 44. And Refresh die, which is up to 3 Silver 73. And an error occurred there, so we'll set up for 3 Silver 72. Instantly, actually. Huh? And then for our rares, we got Golden Sheen sells for around about four gold nice 
even though that was a huge undercut there i just saw that as i hit uh, confirm sale let's move on to our heavy gravity bags by fang six dust four totem six claws a blood a venom sack and a bone Onto the large crafting bags, where we got 15 totems, 8 sacks, 3 fangs, 2 bones, 18 blood, 7 dust, 4 scales, and 4 claws. And finally, the end dragon material bags, the last of the materials here, where we got a lot. Wow. We got 24 of the resin, 36 jade, a lot of fish, some ecto, a few tales of adventure. Not a bad mix there. And an opal crystal as well. Here is our weapon unlock where we got the hardwood scepter. Are you joking? How have I not unlocked the hardwood scepter? Been playing for like eight years. Wow. That that's that's pretty bad. I should have. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Here's our wardrobe unlock. We got the Tempest Torch, which is our second of the Tempest set. We have our armor unlocks now. We've got stalker pants and drover shoulders. Nice. And then again, vintage. Oh, I didn't need to use it. But we got a spectral greatsword skin. Which is worth around 42 to 6. 70? That's pretty good. Ooh, it looks pretty good too. Very nice indeed. Alright, next up we have the armored tiger warclaw. Seems to have a it does have a bit of a disengage and engage look there to it. That's pretty cool. Looks quite nice, very um Canthony Asian inspired armor on the tiger. Very, very cool. Very nice indeed. Let's have a look at the engage skill. Doesn't seem to be much of an effect on that, but there definitely is here on the dismount and uh, mount up. Let's see if there's an idol here. is doesn't look unique though so we peach ice hydrangea midnight rust and apricot on at the moment the defaults are cobalt and ebony on top with midnight rust and apricot down below this looks like here and here that is with no post processing on as well Looks a lot more grounded, I think. More leathery colouring, you know. Very cool indeed. Let's have a look at the die channels individually. Here's full Shadow Abyss, so you can't really take that grey off of the fur. Unless there is some times where Shadow Abyss goes to a pure whitey grey sort of layer. So that could be what is happening here. So top left is the main parts of the armor so the middle of the mouth there the kind of emblem here all the paneling top right is the sort of edges of all those metallic armory parts or makes it look metallic here always this reminds me of the gold trim armor from runescape i know i say it way too often uh bottom left is looks like the leather part of all of these armor pieces so the lower layer of all of them and then bottom right is fur patches throughout the face and upper torso as well as some jewels there dotted throughout the armor here is our contrasting layer we've blue on the top left green on the top right purple on the bottom left and orange on the bottom right orange on the bottom right does look pretty decent just because it kind of gives it that tiger flair but the other three still look a bit of a mess <laughs> but at least you can see uh, quite easily 
how all the different layers interact with each other. Okay, let's go check this out on all the different races of Tyria. Oh wait, before I do that, we also have a new weapon set. Where my tickets go? There my tickets go. We have the Paladin's Decree set. Here is the axe. Ooh, I like the little ribbon in the bottom. Always nice. Here is the longbow. Quite a nice looking, like, regal sort of set. A short bow here, or I guess a paladin-like set. Though I feel like paladin tends to be more bluey color, but I guess in Guild Wars that's kind of guardian. Here's the dagger, which I quite like. Let's have a look at the focus, which is some sort of decree. I'm sure someone at some point is going to translate that. I'm sure there'll be something on the wiki, maybe. I presume that is translatable. Here is the greatsword. Ooh. Looking nice. We have the hammer. Got a little emblem there on the face of it. And some nice pointy spikes as well. Here's the mace, which is interesting. How big is that head? Hmm. Very nice, very nice. Here is the pistol. Which I do quite like the look of. We have the rifle. Here's the scepter, which is quite macy as well. Here's the shield. Ooh, quite a nice shield. Good shape to the shield. Very, I don't know, a shieldy shape, I guess. Here's the staff. Quite good, quite good. The sword. Nice and pointy. We have the torch. Quite good flame on that. That's what it's like without the flame there. And finally, the Warhorn here. Which looks very... Like, presentation-y, I guess. Okay, let's head on to the different characters now and have a look at the Warclaw across the board. Here we are on Silvari with the new Armored Tiger Warclaw. Looking pretty good. Oh, I don't want to go in the water. No, thank you. Very nice indeed. What are these die channels here? We have Scarlet Ebony on top, Midnight Rust and Apricot down below. I think that's default, isn't it? Oh no, it's not default. The Scarlet is not default. Nice. Scarlet looks very nice. All right, let's head on to human. Here we go. Ooh, here we are on human with an interesting die choice. Got a kind of a turquoisey, tealy, nice, vibrant blue to it. More of a maybe a ceremonial armor. The storms blinded us coming over the pass. We had to tie ourselves together to make sure we didn't lose anyone. I hear it's getting a nice hint of uh, red or pink there for the fur. No one is crazier than I am. With prices this low, I am practically giving things away. Nice. Let's have a look at these dies. We have cyanide and forgiveness on top with tangerine and salmon down below. Very nice indeed. Let's move on to Norn. Here we go. Here we are on Norn with the new armored tiger. Looking fairly nice. I don't think that blue works for the armor, though. Oh, that's water. The red and white is a nice combo. Is that red and white? It must be. It might be the blue. No, it's definitely a, like a frost or something there. But it looks very nice for the engage effect. The mountain dismount.
Looks better outside of the ruins, I think. The dyes that we have here today. We have shy peach and antique gold on top, and then electro blue and scarlet. Very nice indeed. Let's head on to Char. And finally, here we are on Char. Why did that not load the... There it is. Guess when you're at speed, it's a bit far away to notice. But here we are on Char with the new Armored Tiger Warclaw. A nice purpley uh, look going on here. Looking pretty good. Let's have a look and see what these dyes really are. So we have Royal Purple and Summer Thistle up above and Cinders and Mushroom down below. Cinders and Mushroom is quite an ominous combination. Very dark, very grey, very muddy. I think it works okay. I think the purple is quite nice. Very nice indeed. All right, let's head back to Quando and wrap up the video. Here we go. Well, that is it for the Armored Tiger Warclaw and the new Black Lion Chest. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did and subscribe for more in the future. You can check out this week's giveaway. The link for that should be in the end screen. And I'll be back on the weekend with my playthrough of What Lies Within. I'm looking forward to getting started on that once I finish making these videos. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more in the future. You can check out the Discord, the link for that is down below, or support the channel through the membership program, or with super thanks as well. And the dice here on this last one, we have Scarlet and Marine on top with Copper Penny and Refresh down below. All right, that is it for me for today. So until next time, take care.